Hello, my name is Nathan Looper. Uh, I'm a finance major from Houston, Texas. And my name is McKenna Parsons. I'll be filming today's live. Let us know where you're tuning in from in the comments and ask us any, any questions along the way. We are touring Hot Hall today. Uh, so we got a Northwest Quads right here. You have Fulbright. Uh, it's a very popular dining place. Uh, you have Maple South behind you mm -hmm. over there. And over here, you have the Garland parking lot and lot 37. Uh, on the corner, there's a small mart where you can get your basic needs, uh, food, deodorant, whatever. Mm -hmm. And what neighborhood is HOTS a part of? Uh, Mockingbird. Mockingbird neighborhood, absolutely. So we're headed inside now. Here's the fob you use to show that security. So all halls have fob access. Um, that's for security and I think HOTS is on its own. I know Holcomb and Future will kind of share a fob, but yeah. So where are we now? So we're in the lounge area um, or the game room. So we got a pool table, we have a ping pong table. We have a kitchen. Uh, the kitchen has like a sink, and uh, but it does not have an oven. Yes, do we wanna look in there real quick? Yeah, let's take a look. And this is a community fridge. Um, definitely label your things if you're gonna be using it. <laughs> Beautiful, and there's a microwave. Mm -hmm. Everything but an oven that you could need. Awesome. All right, so we can go see the, uh, the movie room. The movie room is a, or the theater, I guess is, you could also call it. Mm -hmm. A lot of events are held here, right? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Events? Yeah. Uh, so there's always like, gonna be like a ping pong tournament. So you got movie nights. Uh, you can rent a uh, Nintendo Switch from the front desk. So you have lots of game nights as well. But there's always something going on if you wanna like come down and chill. Yeah. Uh, we can go see the music room next. Uh, pretty cool. So I know you're going to be in RE this fall. What building are you going to be in? Uh, I will be in Maple East. Uh, Maple East. Like one minute away. Yeah, it's really close by here. Uh, so this is the music room. If you're a music major, you can come in here and practice your pieces. Uh, it's quiet, it's soundproof, so you can go do your thing and not bother anyone else. Mm -hmm. It's a great space yeah. to practice if you live in haunts. And, awesome. Uh, this is the letter room. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good Would you guys like to give some brief introductions? Of course, yeah. So I'm Chelsea Hodge. I'm the Director of Grants and Research Innovation in the Honors College of Futures Hub. Hi, everyone. My name is Tyler Marine. I just graduated from the University of Arkansas with my undergrad, and I'm the Graduate Assistant for Honors College Programming with the Futures Hub. Beautiful. So one of the great perks of being an honors student is that you have really fantastic resources and special opportunities. I work in the Honors College in a unit called the Futures Hub. We're a team of planning professionals that can help you in all the things outside of your classes. I specifically help honors students with study abroad and your honors research, and then I can also help you apply for grant funding from the Honors College to help you pay for those experiences. My colleagues can help you with things like internships, going to grad school, law school, medical school, um, helping you manage tricky double majors or multiple minors, helping you get involved and engaged on campus. Mm -hmm. So we are housed in Gerhardt Hall, which is the academic home of the Honors College over by Old Main, and we hope that you will visit us there. We put on a lot of workshops and info sessions about all of those topics I just covered. We'll have a number of events during A week that you can attend to get a head start on these topics. And we are also available for one-on-one -on -one appointments where you can meet with us um, just one-on-one -on -one to talk about what your goals are in terms of study abroad or, or research or whatever the case it may be. And then Tyler is our fantastic graduate assistant that will be helping plan some other really incredible events for our honor students. Awesome. So I actually lived here in Hot Hall my freshman year, so I got to attend a lot of events here um, just like four years ago and not it's full circle that I'll be back here helping plan those events that I was attending four or so years ago. So some things to look forward to. We'll have an ice cream social on your first day of classes here in Hot Hall. We'll also have a series called Professors and Pizza on the Patio, 
right over there. <laughs> yes, we're headed to the <laughs> patio next. In a <laughs> um, where we'll bring in some different professors from around campus um, to have dinner with our students living here in Hots Hall. And you can learn about topics like leadership and involvement. So the first, um, like right at the beginning of the semester, we'll bring in some of the presidents of our big student organizations here on campus and you can learn how to get involved with them. We'll have one that is focused on study abroad. So if you want to study abroad as an honor student, there's a lot of honors only programs. And then there's like um, the grants that Dr. Hodge just mentioned that you can apply to. So we'll have some faculty who are leading those programs here. And then we'll have a research one to help um, if you want to get a head start on your honors thesis research. <laughs> we'll also have a program called Dinner with the Deans out here where some of the awesome deans of the Honors College will be here to have dinner with you all. Um, and then another thing I want to mention that will not be here in Hots Hall, but over in Gearhart Hall is an event called Recess. It happens every single week um, and we'll have different themes throughout the year. So we'll have a back to school recess your first week. We'll have a study abroad one, a research one, um, a leadership recess. And those are just pop in um, events. You can come by, meet some people. Um, that are really geared towards the theme of the week and you can get some free food usually so oh, food. <laughs> <laughs> definitely would love to see you there and all those events that I just mentioned you'll get an email every week called this week in honors mm -hmm. it'll have the time location the day of all those events so I definitely would recommend checking your email <laughs> um, once you get here yes do you have a favorite event you attended while you were here let's see I think one of my favorite was probably the professor and pieces on the patio for study abroad. I loved meeting the professors and I knew that study abroad was something I definitely wanted to do once I got here. So it was really cool hearing about it. And then like a couple years later, I got to actually go, which was super awesome. Yeah. I just had one more thing. So every single Wednesday morning, the Futures Hub advisors will be here in HOTS for Hub at HOTS, which is just an hour um, where we will have our coffee cart. Um, and some snacks, and you can just stop by on your way to class, ask us questions about medical school, classes, study abroad, whatever the case may be, but it's a great chance to just meet us, ask questions, and get the assistance you need. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for taking your time to share here at HOTS today. Yeah. Have a wonderful day. Awesome. Right. Where are we headed next? We can go to the patio. All right, the patio. This is kind of a common area as well. The elevators are that way, and we'll wrap back around. Yeah, Thank so this you. Is the patio. It's super quiet and uh, peaceful right now. Yes. So, yes. Great outdoor study spot. It is covered, so if it's raining like today, you are still good to come out here. <laughs> So this is the computer lab, computerless computer lab. Mm -hmm. No computers, but uh, it's really popular to come down here and study. Yes. If you don't want to study by yourself, room. come down here. It's also a big TV. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, next, we can go to the gym. Uh, it's not like a super big gym, but it has your basic uh, what you need. Yeah. Uh, it's one of the few dorms with their own gym. I know Reed and um, Duncan has their own gym, but so it's one of three. You got your file paper file right here. It's definitely nice to have this in building with you, so you don't have to necessarily go to the union or go to the UREC. Just get a quick sweat in, <laughs> give you a brief view. <laughs> And if you guys have any questions, make sure and send them in the chat. I've seen a couple about the 08 rooms, and we are headed up that way um, momentarily. All right, so let's get on out. Oh, we'll mention this. We'll mention this room, too. Is there something in there? No, no, no. Yes, oh, there is. <laughs> back there again. Is back. <laughs> what space is this? This is actually my office. I have an office right here in Hots Hall, so if y'all ever need anything, I'll be in here at least once a week. I'll actually post some hours on my door a little bit into the semester, so you can just stop by, say hi. If you um, have any questions about like getting involved on campus, 
um, I'm here for you. And then yes. it's a mess. Peep the coffee cart. Coffee cart. So this will be <laughs> making appearances at the different events. And then the Honors College has one more that you'll see like randomly around campus. Awesome. So, what Thank are, you. What are the mechanics of the coffee cart? Does it just go around and offer coffee? <laughs> this one is just for hot chocolate. There's another one, yes. It yes. just randomly pops up around campus to have coffee or hot chocolate. That's nice. Pretty sweet, though. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> awesome door deck. What do you call this? I don't know. I love it. Anyway. Is that a disco ball? It is. With a cowboy hat. I love it. All right. 125. Hello. Hi, everyone. Um, that disco doll, I actually made it. Oh, credits. <laughs> I have my own. I made my own. Beautiful. And I made for my art. Hello, everyone. My name is Talita. I am the Siri of Hot. Siri is coordinator for residence education. So my role is pretty much to um, advise the RAs, supervise them, um, kind of like help with any issues in the building. So you're always welcome in my office. It is located really next to the gym and close to Tyler's office. So feel free to come over. I always have candy. Don't show my candy bow today because oh, it's I a will. little sad. <laughs> um, but I'll definitely get some more candy before you guys arrive. Um, some of the tips I would give you is like really get to know your RA on your floor. Mm -hmm. um, participate on the events we have going on. Like we do so many things here in Hot, so I think you really have a good time. And always feel free to come over and let me know if you have any questions or if you wanna talk about a program that you wanna do for the entire building, we can do that too, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Alita, I remember y'all did a uh, karaoke night, right? Yes, we did. We had a karaoke night last year. Do you have yeah, a do you have a go-to karaoke song? <laughs> I do actually. <laughs> what is um, it? Honestly, anything Britney Spears. I okay. love it. It's just so fun. But last year when we had karaoke, I had all of my not all of my residents, but a good part of my residents singing um, "Careless Whispers" uh, with me mm -hmm. from uh, I think it's Michael. Uh, George Wham? Michael? Is it Wham? Yeah, or Wham. Yeah, one of those. It was so funny, guys. Like it was hilarious. You go to our Instagram and check it out because there's definitely some videos in there. So it was. Great times. Oh, yeah, like and subscribe to Instagram. Yes. Remember the handle? Subscribe to Instagram. Subscribe handle. <laughs> it's you are cots. Um, yeah. Yes, you are hot. Um, so, yeah, follow us on Instagram because we'll always be um, sharing over there like information about programs and like also our RAs will take over for the day. So, if you want to see your RA on Instagram, please make sure you follow us. Awesome. Thank you, Matt. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. I'll follow you guys for a little bit. So, yeah. Awesome. Okay. So here's another common area of TV. Over here is um, you pick up your paper mail. Yes, you your mail. You like a package, you pick it up from the front desk. And speaking of the front desk. Do you share a mailbox with your roommate, I believe? I believe so. Okay. Yes, so you will have your own mailbox and it's shared with your roommate. Here's the front desk. Hello, hello. <laughs> So this is where you will pick up packages. And when you get an email that you have a package, the hours are in the email. Correct. Make sure you check package hours. Awesome. All right, so we can go this way. Uh, so, bathroom. Yes, we've got first floor bathrooms. Water fountain, you can fill up your water bottle there. Do you have your own water bottle? I mean, I, I would hope so. <laughs> I have a hydro flask still. <laughs> Hydration is key. Hydration is key. I know I got mine from the bookstore, so. I mean, your brain is like 70% water, something like that, so. <laughs> so this we, is the laundry room. Brain. Yes. So uh, you're going to be using the Speed Queen app. Um, you're going to be using the Speed Queen app. You get two loads per week. Mm -hmm. if you want like an additional load. It's just a dollar fifty to wash, dollar fifty to dry, so maybe like three dollars total. Uh, we have a lot of laundry machines here, more than other buildings. It's so good for a, hot. A yes, awesome. Yes, Speed Queen app. You will have a, an, an account already made for you, um, and you'll just sign in with your UARC information. Someone does have a question um, asking about getting food delivered to Hot's front desk. Yeah. Do we know if that's an option? Like Uber Eats? Yeah. Uh, when I did Uber Eats, I just had it delivered to like the, the front of the building. I just met them outside. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, 
Oh, I heard a question about DoorDash. Yes. Um, that's a great question. A lot of people use that service. So what happens is you have to meet your DoorDash driver or whatever, you know, one you're choosing to use, Uber Eats or whatever. Um, you have to meet them outside of the building. They cannot mm. come into the building. You have to have a fob with you, which will look like this. A little yes, fob. Everybody gets their um, own fob. So you get your own <laughs> fob, and you can just meet them outside and then get your food. So please never have them just drop off your food because um, yes. we don't take your responsibility. So perfect. Yeah. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Make sure you keep sending any questions. And real quick, before we go up, I think we would like to peek over at the ice machine, maybe, and vending machines. You want to tell us a little bit about that with your uh, with your meal card? Yeah. So uh, you can use your Apple Pay, right? And, mm -hmm. uh, so vending machines, you have an uh, ice machine right here. Yes, and recycling as well. And recycling. Right by the elevators. Beautiful. Thank you. Awesome. Do you know what room we're touring today as we go up? Uh, 408. Yeah, uh, eight. we are going to do an 08. Four and, ten. Uh, fourth uh, floor. We're on the fourth floor. So if you're on the fourth floor, we're showing your floor. Yes, and we might lose connection briefly as we go up the elevator. So hold tight. <laughs> see if we have any other questions so far so we can do the study room first right yeah let's let's check out this oh. whatever you have at home is not going to fit on your space because it's going to be a smaller size that you're sharing with someone so make sure you, you know, pack um, for this season. So I would say like summer clothes, like things you're going to wear in class. And then when you go home for like fall break, you can bring all of your winter clothes and all of that stuff. Great so, advice. Yes. That's yeah. what I do is I rotate yeah. my clothes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Someone also asked, are laundry pods included in washing? I know the answer to that. And they are not yes. included. But um, you can use any type of laundry soap, I believe, but pods are recommended. Yes. Yes, that's correct. And then there's also an app that you can have on your phone for laundry. So mm -hmm. that will be something that would be on our housing website, I believe. Perfect. Speed Queen. Speed Queen. Speed Queen, yes. Awesome. Let's head to the, head to the study space. And once again, if you're just tuning in, we are in HOTS on the fourth floor currently. We're about to go see the study space. Beautiful, and this is at the end of the hallway. Uh, so this is the study room. These walls, you can, paint, uh, you, can you can write on them with extra markers. Uh, yeah, it's very quiet in here. Uh, it's not very popular. So if you want to go study, honestly, it's most likely you're just going to be yourself. Maybe one other person, so it's perfect for studying. I love the natural lighting in here. I'm just trying to get a full view of this. It's a bunch of windows. Yes. Any questions about the study space, you guys? Is there anywhere we can find a floor plan of our entire floor? <clears throat> on the housing portal, you should be able to find floor plans. Yes. But not on the housing website for security reasons. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, so we need to go uh, up this way. All right. <clears throat> so, uh... <laughs> Struggling with this you, uh, momentarily. Double, double squeeze it, see if it goes back to. The... Oh yes, there we go. My bad, you guys. So <laughs> Don't get dizzy. Two common areas per floor. Yes. Uh, lots of seating. We have a TV. Um, so there's always going to be people here if you ever feel lonely. Yeah. yeah good, good, good floor level shows get watched here all the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's good to get out of your room sometimes. <clears throat> yes. Watch some Bachelor. Or <laughs> South Park. South Park. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Awesome. And then now we're headed to the other. We're crossing over again in this direction. Or when we go through the, the restrooms. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's All fine. Right. We just we our rooms over there. So. Sounds good. 
So now we're gonna show a bathroom. And these are floor bathrooms. Tell us a little bit about them. Uh, these are really nice bathrooms. Like um, most dorms have like curtains, uh, but these actually have like a door that locks. <laughs> so goes all the way to the floor. Yeah, and those are the showers. You can open up one of the showers and we just look at it. this one right here. Okay. Yeah. If you want to, just push that button. Get the light going. Thinking about it. Okay, well, yeah, yes. Yeah. So this is what your shower will be looking like. Shower shoes always. Make sure you bring shower shoes. People often forget their shower shoes <laughs> during move-in. I feel like that's a common mistake. Now, when it comes to shower shoes, does one go as inexpensive as possible, or is there a little bit of a, a flex on your shower shoes? Or not? Mm, I don't know. I know I got mine from Walmart. Nice. Um, a dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars per month. Somewhere in yeah. there, maybe the ten dollar range. Oh, but, ten dollar range. Yeah. yeah. Any cool. shower shoe will do as long as you're not bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so let me show you the mirrors. There's a number of sinks in here. One, two, three, four. Looks like five. Awesome. And mention that other bathroom if you don't mind. Yes. Yeah, I got you. Okay. So these have a a toilet, a mirror, and a shower. Mm -hmm. So a, a green one. And uh, it's non-gendered. Non-gendered. Yes. There's two of those, I believe. Someone asked, is there any sort of step between the shower floor and shower? There is a little step. There is a tiny ridge, if you're asking, in order to see if water is going to go everywhere. Usually it stays in there. <laughs> All right. Let me get to the good part. Go look at the, the rooms. Someone asked if there's ever a long wait for showers. <laughs> I mean, everyone has like really different schedules in college, so most likely uh, there will not be a long wait. I mean, maybe like a five minute wait every once in a while, but for the most part, uh, you're good to go. Yes. In your residence hall, did you make like shower friends, like bathroom friends, did you have a similar <laughs> schedule? Yes, I, I definitely did. I had a routine time I'd wake up and I'd see the same people in the bathroom pretty yeah. frequently. <laughs> well, there's like a lot of bathrooms and showers. Uh, per person, like it, it's a pretty good ratio. I feel yes, like. mm -hmm. yes, Hots. for sure. Awesome. Well, should we go check out one of the other rooms? Yes, let's check out the rooms. So we're gonna check out room number 410. We're gonna go to the end room first. Oh, 408. So this is when to ask your 08 questions. I know this is a really popular room. <laughs> Beautiful. So if you have any dimension questions for 08, this is definitely time, the time to ask those questions. Let me see if I can scroll back up. I know someone already entered a question for an 08 room. Let me see if I can get back there. Scrolling, scrolling. Okay, in the room that ends in 08, please measure the dimensions of the window in front of the beds for a tension rod? That is a great question. Let's go over here. Yes. So one wall to the other, let's see. 311. Three feet, 11 inches. So just uh, under four feet across here would, would be your tension rod length. 47 inches. Yes, beautiful. You sure you mentioned that matter for two? Yes, so if you have any measurement questions that we don't get to or can't answer immediately offhand on our website, uh, movein.uark.edu, I believe. Actually, this is on housing. This one's on housing, housing.uark.edu. You can go in and tour the space virtually and actually walk through the buildings. Go to the um, hall page. On the hall page, yes. Is this a suite style room? But uh, this is not a suite style room. It is not. This is a traditional room. Traditional style. Which when we say traditional, we mean that there's two bedrooms and there's not a common space shared by the people within that. Bedroom. Yes, yes. It's just a bedroom. The 08s are special because it's at the end of the hallway and you have two entrance doors. I don't see any other questions yet. Alright, we're gonna move over to the other room then. Awesome.
So now we are in 410. Yeah, this is what 99% of the rooms are gonna look like. Uh, yes, let me get a good view here, hold on. Woo. Someone asked what's under the mattress. Um, I think they're re referring to the furniture that's provided in the room. Yeah, so you got like a dresser, mm -hmm. uh, pretty big. Uh, Stay thing? Uh, container? Container. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then uh, you got a desk and a little um, work dresser kind of. Mm -hmm. So there's it's kind of like a drawer. nightstand. There's a three drawer dresser underneath mm -hmm. as well as this uh, sidebar. And this is lockable too. Um, if you bring a padlock, you can lock it. Someone asked how many outlets are in the room? Uh, there is five outlets in the room. Yes. Are you able to mount your bed higher? Uh, yeah. You can. You can uh, manage the very top. Yep. Uh, you All can do the it way yourself. Left um, or you can do a you know, fixer request. Uh, mm -hmm. If you do it yourself, you can just pull it, or if it's difficult to pull it, you can uh, go get a rubber mallet. Yes, from the front desk. From the front desk. Yeah, so it can go all the way up, all the way down, however you like it, as long as there's still room for your furniture, because all of it does have to stay in the room. <laughs> so someone asked about what's under the mattress. Is it flat? So you've got kind of this, what would you call that? Not springs, but this. Yeah, I, mean, I don't I know. This is are. what's on the springs. Okay. Tension, tension springs. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, it doesn't hurt to get a topper to make it more comfortable. It's very common. Yes, um, foam you toppers. Know, you notice that people are commonly doing. I think foam I toppers think, are pretty common. Yeah, I think that would be a great one to have. Um, you will get surprised by like how people decorate their rooms. It's so cute. Like people really are creative. And like you said, you know, as long as everything is inside of your room, like all of your furniture is inside of the room, that's perfectly fine. However, you and your roommate wants want to like that great. Um, just making sure you're not hanging anything from like the sprinkler head. Um, so <laughs> yeah. That's a safety hazard. Um, nothing on your windows as well. Um, but yeah, otherwise, you know, make it make it homey. Yes. There was a question about me. There's a question about the dimensions and pots is loftable every three inches from 24 inches to 59 at the top. Mm -hmm. And if you want that done prior to your arrival, uh, go to housing.uart.edu forward slash fix it and yes. submit a request. You have to do that by, by no later than August 1st, maybe July, the end of July, and they'll do it for you. Otherwise, you can do it yourself. And this is easy to do. It's not difficult. Yes. Someone asked about um, measuring the window for curtains. So if we could get maybe all the way across yeah, and then the height as well. Yeah, the recess, not everybody sees that recess. So yes, there is a recess in there. Do you mind showing them that recess? Yeah. It says 11 feet across. Yeah, so it's 11 mm -hmm. feet across and then countertop to ceiling looks like it's about... It says five two. Five feet two inches. Five two. So 62 inches. Someone asked if they can stack the two three drawer dressers, these, in order to create more space. Um, so one could technically do that. The caveat would be, will it damage the furniture? And if so, you're on the hook for it. Yes, so yeah. certainly one could. There's no formal way they line up together. And it seems like it would be you know, a little bit dangerous. We would recommend <laughs> it. But can it be done? Sure. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Someone asked about the rules for wallpaper, and I know that has changed this year. Well, it, we, we were more, we added more clarification. Ah, okay. Year. The rule has always been if you damage the walls, you're going to be charged for it. Mm -hmm. But what we've observed is that these adhesive temporary um, forms of wallpaper uh, actually do considerable damage, even when people are trying as hard as they can. Yeah. So we basically just said no temporary wallpaper. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Someone also asked, um, are there thermostats in each room in HOTS? Yeah, actually there are. Um, so right over here, you'll see your thermostat. Um, HOTS is one of the buildings, like it looks really new because it had a renovation, um, but the system runs on the older um, way. So once it becomes really, um, once it becomes cold outside, that's when we're going to transition into um, the heat. Time and then that takes like a couple of days to kick in. 
Um, and then right now we have AC, but you are able to control like how you want your room. Mm -hmm. And if that ever has a problem, like like Christopher said, um, making sure you put putting a fix it request. Um, that's how we can come in, or maintenance team can come in and fix anything in your room that you might be seeing that needs attention. Mm -hmm. So, Thalita, this is one of those halls that it switches all at once, right? Yes. You turn it, mm -hmm. So that's an older technology where um, we have to, whenever it gets hot, we have to change it to like cold, mm -hmm. and the whole building flips at once. Yes. And so if you're used to a traditional home where you can change your air conditioning as much as you yes. want, you might want to bring some items <laughs> that will help you be more comfortable mm -hmm. on an unseasonable day when it comes to temperature. Yes. So like on a cold day, when it's supposed to be cold, but it's actually quite warm, or when it's uh, the opposite. You want to have something here to kind of help you through that. Definitely bring fans. Yeah. Fans yeah, are super. Yeah. And someone asked if we could just real quick repeat um, repeat where to go to get uh, the beds lofted before arrival again. Yeah. Um, you would go to housing.uart.edu and then uh, forward slash fix it, which is F-I-X-I-T. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Um, someone would like to see in the wardrobe. If you want to come and open the wardrobe, yeah. we can show what it looks like in there. And all of this is movable furniture. It's on wheels, yeah. On For wheels. Those, you have a mirror on <laughs> one of the frames. Because uh, you don't have any mirrors in the room, so this is... Yeah, it kind of comes with it. That's really awesome. It would be awkward if look you at yourself in the mirror in the bathroom. <laughs> These closet, these wardrobes are really nice. You have poles, it's separated and shelves above and below. Real quick, could we measure the size of these shelves? Yeah, I'll do a, a length first. So, so we're at one foot, four inches. One four, so foot, four inches, inches wide. Inches. Oh, that was the, uh, yeah. The width? The width, length. That's the depth, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And one foot, three inches, so 15 inches. And then can we go from the top under here down? Yes. One foot, exactly. Perfectly one foot. Do we think the ones on the bottom are the same? Can we measure those now? Yeah, I'll do it real quick. Thank you. Uh, ten inches. Ten inches. Uh, All right. One foot, four inches. Across, yep. And then I'll go. All the way from the outside. One right foot, here. ten inches. Beautiful. Thank you. Let's see. Do you want this as well? Sure, yeah. Okay. So someone asked um, if the wardrobe is moved against the wall here, if the desk would still fit comfortably between the wardrobe um, and the bed. I believe so. I, I do, it would only be one piece of furniture that would fit, whether that's your drawers or your desk. But if this was turned and pushed up against the wall, mm -hmm. um, there should definitely be space for you to put your desk or your drawers yes. also against mm -hmm. the that's wall. That's true, that's true. Awesome. They don't have to remain underneath the bed. No, they but do not. So when it's lofted, um, you'll have a lot of space under there. Yes, I absolutely. I have my desk underneath. Yeah, I so we recommend. I mean, I don't know what the housing recommends, but if it were me as a person, having that lofted would make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. The only time that's hard is when you get sick. <laughs> yeah. But no, lofted beds are really common. Do you guys have any other questions? We are in room four ten, I believe, in Hots, yes, doing measurements right here for you guys. This is like the same layout, layout as like 99% of the rooms, right? Yes. Yeah, this is a traditional yeah. residence hall room. The difference would be, you know, minor variations in, in the uh, furniture, but for the most part, the same items are in every room. Mm -hmm. You have an ethernet connection here too, at some point. So if you want to bring your streaming devices, um, feel free. Yes. Awesome. If you're just joining, we are in HOTS. Welcome to URCOM Home Live 2023. And we are in a room to get dimensions for you. So if you have any questions, send them in the chat. I think we might be about to move on. So. What was your movement experience like, do you recall? Yeah. Uh, it was very stressful. Oh, oh no. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. What happened? Or what, uh, uh, was there a particular reason? Or what, would you have, what did you learn from your experience that you can tell someone who's coming this I way? would say plan ahead. Ah. It's good advice. That is good advice in life, generally. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Did you have people helping you move in? No, I didn't. No, that definitely makes it harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It does. 
And we'll be sending um, <clears throat> arrival passes that you can put on, on your car to per household so that you can certainly bring mm -hmm. other people to help you. Someone asked, where are the outlets? Because we said there were five, yeah, um, but they would like to see where those are at. There's two back behind here. Yep, and two. Two in front. Mm -hmm. So the only one currently visible is this one, because <laughs> the others are behind the bed. Behind the bed. Yes. Yeah. Right there, right there, right there, right here. There, there, and there. Yep. Awesome. So you could put 10, 10 plugs in the wall. In total. Awesome. Any other questions, you guys? I think we're going to move on now. I don't see any more. Okay. Um, why don't you tell them pick? Why don't you tell them about pick one? Why don't you tell them about pick, pick one? Pick one. I mean, I can talk a little bit about pick one. Um, so for pick one, I decided to join Lead Hogs. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was a really great experience to get connected really early on with people on campus. Um, and if you do lead hogs, you get to move in early and help other people move in in your dorm. So you're automatically meeting a ton of people and you're submersing community that can get you connected in so many other ways as well. Um, lead hogs has connections with RIC, with NRHH and mm -hmm. other RSOs yeah, um, on campus. Ones. So that was my experience um, with pick one. Yeah. I think you can also choose UREC as pick one. There's several. I think there's maybe at least 10 or more organizations, but you go to pick one. Yes. Go to pick one .edu, pick one .edu, And you can get involved before you arrive on campus, which, you know, finding your group, finding it's so important and it's an easy way to do so. So mm -hmm. pick one .edu, and you get to meet, you know, Cool people. It what makes a week extra fun because you've got a ton of events and more on top of it. Someone asked, how wide is the window ledge? Let's go over here and check that. Okay. I think we're talking about oh, yeah. the edge this, to the window. Dimension. Yeah. Okay. Right there. It says one feet, two inches. One feet, two inches. Can we possibly get that without the shade? Like if they were to set something in front of the shade, so stopping like in front of the shade, what would that like be? Right there. Um, if you're, the shade is down and they want to set something in front of it. Oh, oh, I see like, what you're saying. Like what would yeah. that be? That is about um, 11 inches. 11 little, inches. A little shy of a foot. Awesome. Can they have small appliances in the room? You can have like a microwave. I don't know about a uh, like a heater, air fryer. Uh, I don't think air fryers on the yeah. website. On uh, if you go to movein.uart.edu, you can see what we allow and what we don't allow. Mm -hmm. You can also go to the handbook on the housing website, and that's pretty well updated right now with what we allow and what we don't allow. Uh, we also have the ability for you to uh, rent a refrigerator. Yes, it's called fridge. a micro fridge. <laughs> micro fridge. Uh, did you do one by chance? I did. Okay. It's a microwave, a freezer, and fridge, and I thought it was really handy. I'm going to flip the camera one more time. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, I thought the micro fridge was great because I didn't want to spend a ton of money on one year of having a fridge or microwave in my dorm that I wouldn't use again. Um, when you do that, the funds spend go directly back into, I think it's... I think it's either... NRHH uh, or yeah, RIC. it's one of our housing yes. organizations. Yes, so the funds go right back into the students, and it is there when you move in, and then they take it when you leave. So it's very, there's no hassle, it's and charming. it's already there. Very yes, charming. it's very nice. I recommend it. <laughs> Someone mentioned the 08 room. We did already look at that room. Um, I think maybe we could dip back in there if they yeah, have questions. Someone real quick did ask though in this room if the bed would fit long way right here up against this wall. Uh, probably not. I think it would block the door. Yeah, I do not believe it would. I think that wouldn't work very well. <laughs> but that's a great question. Got it. You want to open up the room as much as possible. Okay, so we are walking back into the 08 room. So who, whoever asked about that, now is your time to ask those dimension questions or anything you have. Um, this is the same room we were previously in before the last one, for those that have remained on the live, if you're wondering. So you got two doors, same furniture, just a lot more space and beautiful windows all the way across the side here. <laughs> this is 
37. Yes, this is lot 37 right out the window that you can see. And that's Garland Parking Garage. Did you have any questions for the 08 room? Did because you do? Because it's so loud, we have to sign off in the hallway. Okay. Yeah. Did you do pick one when you moved in? What did you no, pick? I just joined the chess club. Ah. Uh, I joined an accounting club, so nothing too exciting. <laughs> well, what? Uh, you said be prepared. That was the number one piece of advice. Yeah. You had. Um, what about? Like uh, freshman wise? Yeah, first year experience stuff. I would say don't stay in your room 24 7, go out and uh, make some friends, join some clubs. Yeah. Because yeah. when, you, when you're like 40 or 50, you don't want to think about college and feel bad. <laughs> it's supposed to be the most exciting part of your life, kind of, so you want to make some memories. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I, someone said a couple years ago, when we were doing this, be bold socially, like get out there. Yes. But not too bold. <laughs> well, you can always be overcommitted and then back out. I think that's great about Lead Hawks too, is it, it's really when you have time for it, it's flexible. Kind of like a balance, I guess. Yeah, you want to find a balance. And I think people, um, it seems like a great idea to start joining organizations and groups second semester um, off the bat. But then I think people come to realize that there's so many groups already formed um, that really I would say jump in head first and then back up afterwards. Mm -hmm. You know, get to meet people, get out there and see what you like and don't. Very good. Someone asked, is there a kitchen on each floor or only the first floor? Only the first floor, no oven. Yes, that's a great question. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining. I think we're about to wrap it up. Um, do you have any final thoughts, final words? No, I'm good. Thank you for joining York Home Live 2023 Hots Hall. <laughs> and go Hogs with Pig Suey. And if, if you want to watch this later, it will be on our Instagram at York Housing um, under Reels. And it will also later this month be on our YouTube page. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Bye.